Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Laplace Transform Tutor. Uh, we're going to work a couple of additional problems, just getting some more practice with this uh, piecewise defined functions and the shifting functions associated with that and the, the properties. And uh, then we'll basically wrap everything up and summarize. So what we have here, let's say we have a more complicated function, g of t. We actually looked at this one before, but we never took the Laplace transform of it. Let's say um, it's a value of 2 when t is less than 1. It's a value of 3t when it's between 1 and 2. And it's a value of 5 when t is greater than or equal to 2. Okay, so that's the piecewise version. Now, we don't have to go thinking too hard about this because we've actually... Um, written down the step version of it, the, 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 the unit step function version of it. It's 2 plus u1, negative 2 plus 3t. You can read that as turning that off and turning that on. And then you have u2, turn this one off, plus 5, turn this one on. All right, so that's the, the function there. Now what we want to do is find the Laplace transform. So what we'll have is the Laplace transform of this guy is going to be the Laplace transform of each term individually. So we'll have the Laplace transform of 2 plus the Laplace transform of u1 negative 2 plus 3t. And then we'll have the Laplace transform of u2 negative 3t plus 5. So now that we know how to do everything individually, we're just putting it all together and learning how to handle it all together. So we look at the Laplace transform of 2. It's a, it's a number, but you can think of pulling it out and it's basically like taking the Laplace transform of 1, which is left over, uh, that's 1 over s. So because we have a 2 there, this Laplace transform is the easiest thing on the board. It's 2 over s, right? Now for all of these other ones, we have these properties to deal with. We we're, basically have step functions. So wherever we have a step function, we write it as e to the minus, whatever the time is, times s, and then we shift by t plus a, then we take the Laplace transform. So here we'll have an e to the minus 1 times s. I'll write it like that to begin with. That's because of that. And then we will have to still take the Laplace transform of whatever is left over plus 3, but then we'll have to shift t plus 1. So we'll shift however far in time our, our unit step was. We're shifting right there. We still have to take that Laplace transform. We haven't done that part yet. Now for this one, it's at 2, at time 2, so it's basically the same thing. e to the minus 2s, we still have to take the Laplace of minus 3 times t plus 2 plus 5. So we're shifting 